Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. And this week, we're playing an act that I'm really excited for. We're heading back to Theros Beyond Death Standard to play a Perforos Bronze Blooded deck. Basically, we're just trying to kind of combo people really quickly with help of Perforos Bond Blooded, ramping into it with Incubation Druid, Paradise Druid, slamming big things like Dracuseth, Terra of Mount Velas, Ilharg into play, and hopefully just one shotting our opponent from 20 life by surprise, maybe like turn four, turn five, depending on what our draw looks like. So that's our plan for today, Perforos, Ilharg, huge dragon shenanigans for standard. As you can see, 92 bucks of paper, 36 sticks on Magic Online, pretty decent price. Ilharg and Perforos are the two, like, semi-expensive cards. The rest of the deck, pretty cheap to put together. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Gruel Perforos for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be spectacular of you. If you take a second, click the subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Gruel Perforos. And this deck is actually very focused and very straightforward. So the plan of the deck, early turns, we want to be ramping. We got Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid. Our big plays in this deck are five mana up to seven mana. So Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid, just speed up the plan. Casting a five drop on turn five or a seven drop on turn seven, gonna be a bit slow in standard. These cards just speed up that process a bit. So what are we trying to get down? Well, our big payoffs are Perforos Bronze Brooded and also Ilharg the Raise Boar. So these are cards that are eh, okay on their own, I would say. Ilharg is a six six for five with Trample, which is pretty big. Perforos though, sometimes we turn it onto a big and indestructible creature, but mostly these are five mana plays that let us cheat other things into play. Ilharg, when it attacks, we just put a creature into play tapped and attacking. Perforos lets us pay three mana to put a red or artifact creature onto the battlefield with haste from our hand. So if we can play Perforos on turn five, turn six, we can put two creatures into play with haste. Ilharg on turn five, next turn we're able to smash in, put something into play. We can even do the Ilharg trick with haste thanks to Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild does two things for our deck. First, it lets us fight through counter spells, just makes it so creatures can't be countered, which means we don't have to worry about mystical disputes and quenches and Thassa's intervention, all that stuff ruining our day, which is important when we're trying to play these big expensive sorcery speed things. Also gives our stuff Riot, so we can choose to put Ilharg into play with haste, for example, which is really nice. We can, like, turn two Mana Dork, turn three Rhythm of the Wild, turn four Ilharg, give it haste, put something else into play, and just one shot our opponent as early as turn four, potentially. So what are we trying to put into play with Perforos and Ilharg? And here we have two different options. Terror of Mount Velis is our scariest payoff. It's a 5-5 five, five Flying Double Strike that gives all of our other stuff double strike when it comes into play. So this is our easiest combo kill. Remember that curve we were talking about? Mana Dork, Rhythm of the Wild, Hasty Ilharg on turn four. If the creature we put into play with Ilharg is terror, we're going to end up with a 6-6 six, six trampling, doubling, striking Ilharg, which is 12 damage, and we have a 5-5, five, five, or actually a 6-6, six, because six, we can put a counter on it because of Rhythm of the Wild, flying, double striking terror, that is 24 evasive damage, enough to win the game on most board states. Our other option is Dracuseth. Dracuseth isn't as good with Ilharg, because we don't get the attack trigger of dealing a bunch of damage to stuff, but it's insane with Perforos, so with Perforos, we can like play it on turn 5, or maybe turn 4 with Ramp, untap 6 mana, Terror, Dracuseth, sweep away your board, double strike everything, one shot kill you, and that's really the entire plan of this deck, is to manipulate the board state into a place where we get to one shot kill someone from 20 life with Ilharg, Terror, Dracuseth, and Perforos. That is all that our deck is trying to do. Of course, to make this plan work, we need some consistency, ways to find our combo pieces. So for this, we got a few different options. Thrill of Possibility, Honor of the God Pharaoh, just let us discard extra legends like Dracuseth, multiple's not good, uh, Ilharg, discard extra lands, extra perforoses to draw into hopefully some relevant cards. So these are good card filtering. And then Shared Summons, just a one of because it's expensive. But if the game goes long enough, this is an instant speed way. We can just like get down our perforos, next turn Shared Summons, tutor 
up Dracus F Terror or Ilharg Terror, whatever combination we need to win the game, get both of those in our hand, put them into play with our Perforos, or we can, on the end of our opponent's turn, if we have Rhythm of the Wild, we can, like, cast this, get Ilharg with Terror, untap Hasty Ilharg Terror, win the game. The only problem is it's five mana. We already got Ilhargs, we already got Perforoses, so we're overloaded at five mana and can't play too many of them. Otherwise, we have one copy of Iron Craig Feet. This is a card that initially I had more of, but it's so inconsistent and frustrating. I kept cutting and cutting. One of, it can be very powerful at times. It's a way to go from four mana to seven mana, which means we can, on turn four, hard cast to Drake, who's that, hard cast to Terror. It's kind of sweet with Perforos because we can play it and then activate Perforos a bunch of times potentially, but it's a card that doesn't actually help us find our combo pieces. So when I had four of them in the deck, we got a lot of hands where we're just like drawing multiples of these and no finishers, which is clunky. So I don't know. We ended up with one. It's good when it's good. And when it's bad, we could just discard it to one of our rummaging effects or something. Mana base wise, we got a bunch of dual lands. Only one stomping ground for budget purposes. Temple of Abandon's nice, so we're not doing much on turn one, so we can afford to tap land. Some basic lands in the sideboard. Red Cap, Melee, and Lava Coil help against creature decks. Red Cap, especially good against my Mono red, especially, especially good against Eberkleave, since it's instant speed and can get rid of basically any creature in the mono red deck. So hopefully you can fizzle the Eberkleave attack, untap, win the game on the backswing with 20 damage. Otherwise, we get a bunch of creatures, Lovestruck Beast, mostly for aggro, blocking twice, Thrashy Bratadon, good against Fires and Wilderness Reclamation, blowing up the namesake enchantments, Shifting Ceratops, good against Counterspell decks, Meteor Golem, as an artifact creature, can be cheated into play with Perforo, so we can sneak it in, blow up something if we need to, and then Return to Nature, just as kind of a catch-all for Fires of Adventures, for Wilderness Reclamations, for Uros in the Graveyard, other Graveyard stuff, and that is Gruel Perforos, basically all in on smashing our opponent to death with one big 20 plus damage double striking trampling flying attack and that's our budget magic deck for this week so let's jump into the gameplay see how legit this deck is in practice thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will talk to you soon all right budget magic time we are playing some gruel perforos and sand looks pretty reasonable we got a rhythm of the wild we got an ilharg yeah we'll keep another temple i mean this is a hand where we can potentially just Rhythm, Ilharg, Terror, win the game on turn five. No ramp to speed it up, but we'll see. We'll see what our opponent's doing. Castle Vantress. Well, Temple. Scry. Um, I don't think we want another Terror here. To the bottom. Uh, opponent. Untap lands. So looks like Jeskai fires. Play a land. Play Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, Omen of the Sea. Sure. So opponent could have Teferi to bounce our Rhythm of the Wild. But then we can recast it and theoretically just win the game the following turn bone it untap land to fairy sure are we bouncing rhythm all right all right all right sure 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 well we untap we play rhythm we play a mountain and see if our pony has another answer or else they should be dead this turn bone it take it up to fairy untap land out of 14 fires of invention okay can't cast stuff during our turn bone crusher and that looks like game to me. We play a land. We play Ilharg. We give it haste. We attack our opponent. Terror. Also going at our opponent. Plus one, plus one counter. And uh, that looks like lethal and a half. Oh, turn five kill! Through the fires! <laughs> Bounce our rhythm of the wild, will you, Deferi? And opponent is ultra dead. That is a lot of damage on turn five. Well, that's one way to beat fires. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, that went well. What do we want against fires? Uh, probably Thrashy. Thrashy McGee. Um, that might be it. Lava Coil's not that great at killing our opponent's things. I think our main goal is to do what we did there, honestly. Like, to kill our opponent quickly with our big stompy things. Maybe we can go down one Drake, who's Seth. Yeah, run like that. I mean, that is a recipe for success. <laughs> Oh, our deck does some powerful things when it all comes together. That is for certain. I mean, oh, oh, it is disruptible, but when it comes together, good lord. The power level is high. And opponent, can we do it one more time? Uh, we're going to mulligan that. One land, not going to get it done. All right. We'll put a forest. Actually, put a mountain to the bottom. This hand isn't as good. Oh, boy. Opponent gets to scry a million. All right. So, opponent's going to almost certainly find something they want here. They get to really set up their game plan with double swings. 
Shared summoning is, in, uh, summoning is interesting. That can snag our combo pieces. Wow. Well, I guess three to the top minimizes the impact of Double Sphinx. Opponent just already had the perfect cards. Uh, hmm. Let's go Terror Bottom. That is one of our finishers, but we have the shared summons. We have the Perforos. Land Incubation Druid. I mean, this has to mean our opponent has fires on turn four. I would be shocked if it if they did not. Fable Passage. Opponent passes. Um. All right, we'll put that to the bottom. Incubation Druid, number two. Rugged Highland. Pass the turn. Untap land. So here comes fires. Uh, we can spend our next turn blowing up the fires. It might be necessary, unfortunately. Mountain. Oh, no fires. Okay. Well, in that case, we will just play Perforos to the bottom. Opponent untaps. Skyland. They might be setting up for the turn five fires. Yeah, there's the fires. And Sphinx number two. Opponent hits us. Hmm. Well, play a forest. We're going to let our opponent have the fires. Shared summoning. Take Terror and Dracuseth. All right. Well, kill us, opponent, if you can. If not, this is hopefully lethal next turn. Opponent does get to scry. They do have fire, so they could easily Cavalier Flames, Kenrith, Pump, Trample, etc. And kill us this turn. Bottom, bottom. Now we'll see. Okay. Or they can have a Teferi to bounce our Perforos. That also, that also makes us lose. Oh, and the kind of, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that does it. Well, that is the power of fires. Thankfully, we're on the play for game number three. Huh, yeah, that's what fires decks could do. We had to expect our opponent had a pretty good hand, considering uh, that they kept seven with two Sphinxes. All right, on to game three. Can we get the fast the fast kill? Can we race the fires? In our dream world, we have, like, Mana Dork Rhythm into our combo stuff. Rhythm seems especially good uh, against this deck, where we're, we're kind of trying to race our opponent's combo, essentially. Kind of wish Teferi didn't exist. <laughs> it definitely punishes our deck a bit. All right, on to game three against Jeskai Fires. We're in the play. What does our hand look like? Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to keep this. We have all of our finishers and none of our ramp. Pony has a Sphinx, of course. And I'll play a land scry. Keep Incubation Druid. Well, we'll see. We will see. Pony gets to scry. Set up their game plan. We would love to draw another land. Two to the top, one to the bottom. Opponent. Tap land, passes. Well, play the land. Incubation Druid. Uh, opponent. Untap land. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, Temple. And yeah, we'll keep Iron Craig Feet. Land for our opponent. Bone Crusher. Well, I mean, we gotta go for it. Iron Craig Feet, Dragoseth. No Teferi, please! No Teferi, please! <laughs> <sighs> Please no to fairy. About it. Thinking. I guess Brazen Borrower is also... Like, anything that bounces our Dragoseth is a nightmare here. If we get in one attack with Dragoseth, though, things are much sweeter. Opponent. To the top. Um, I'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack. 4U, 3U. Opponent goes to 7. Play Ilharg. About it. Okay, to fairy. This isn't very good, though, with Ilharg out. Because... Ilharg just puts Dracuseth back into play if our opponent bounces it. All right, opponent bounces it. And we got the GGs. We got the GGs. Stop it through the fires. And opponent scoops it up. Oh, take it out fires. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just slam the big things and it works. Who? All right. All right. All right. Sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are perforosing in standard. Playing some gruel perforos. Trying to stomp all over our opponent. Eh, all right, this is fine. We got some ramp. We got an honor of the god pharaoh for filtering. Dragoseth, if we can find a Perforus. And the scry land is helpful. Eh, all right, temple. Forest to the bottom. I don't think we really need any more lands for basically the rest of the game. Eh, all right, temple of mystery for our opponent. And more lands. Well, play paradise druid pass the turn. Uh, put it. All right, some sort of bant deck. Grow spiral, so bant ramp, I guess. 
Scryland to the top. Well, play a land, honor the God Pharaoh, discard Rugged Highlands. Ew, draw two more lands. Well, yeah, let's chip in for some damage. All right, there's an Uro. Opponent gaining back some life. We're gonna need to find this Perforos at some point, or at least an Ilharg. Opponent, another Scryland. Two. Oh come on, you're making me making me lose my my word there, opponent. There you go, bottom to the bottom. <laughs> Bout it, Tavlad. More lands. Well, we will honor the God Pharaoh. Discard a forest. Scryland. And we'll keep rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. All right, get in with the zombie. I mean, this is kind of reasonable in its own right. We can rhythm and then just haste in our stuff. Dream Drawler. That's going to make things interesting. Well, Rhythm of the Wild. Mountain. Pass the turn. All right. Well, let's see. Can we beat a Dream Drawler? Pota's going to start gaining life. This is going to get wild. Pota. Untap land. One, two. One, two, three, or five. Ugh, Elspeth conquers death. Ugh, that's bad. That is unfortunate that that's how that turned out. Come on, give us a Perforos. Give us a Perforos, Pote. It hits us. Gonna gain life, gonna grow spiral to gain even more life. Ugh, that Elspeth conquers death was bad news, Pote. It. Hits us, 14. Well, play a land, play Ilharg. Go attacking. All right, opponent, what do you got? What do you got? Opponents counting something up. They don't have enough cards to get back a Uro yet. Boy, we would have won the game if our opponent didn't have the Elspeth Conqueror's death. Like, the hasty Ilharg putting Terror into play is just, that's game? Game? So our opponent thinking about discarding a bunch of cards to get back Uro? They'd have to discard essentially their entire hand, right? They only have two non-Uro cards? Yeah, they'd have to discard everything. That is probably not a good plan. All right, they're going to go for it. Discard, discard. All right, opponent is fully in on Uro. I'm not sure if Uro's going to save our opponent here, though. Opponent. We'll see what they draw. They get back Uro. They get to draw a card. They get to gain a bunch of life with Dream Trawler. Yep. Uro exiles everything. Draws a card, pumps Dream Trawler. Oh, does not put a land into play. That means our opponent drew something else, potentially. Gets in, draws another card. Something like Teferi just ruins everything. We go to eight. Opponent goes to 26. Tap land. Passes. Well, play the land. Go to combat. All attack. Terror. Double strike. Bout it. 5, 10, 14, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I think our opponents gained just enough life that this isn't lethal. We hit our opponent for a ridiculous amount, but just less than lethal amount. Opponent goes to two. We play a Drake, Useth. All right. Terra comes back. What does our opponent find? They get to get a draw and some life gate off this Uro. Oh my goodness. Opponent gained enough life to stay alive discards Caval- okay, they're gonna get back Cavalier, okay. So this lets our opponent Cavalier and Uro. Alright, that is good. Cavalier comes back, but our opponent's gonna need- oh, and that Quasi-Duplicate in- oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Two Quasi-Duplicates! Oh, good god. Does this mean we're gonna- oh, alright, well, what does our opponent find? Cavalier mills a bunch of cards. Oh, the Elspeth Conqueror's death swung the game for our opponent potentially that is a one card opponent would be dead by now if they didn't have that elspeth conquers death all right about it still dead still dead opponent had elspeth conquers death to take our answer dream trawler to gain a ton of life cavalier to get back uro not enough not enough stop him okay maybe this deck actually has a uh, has some potential <laughs> all right all right boy it's sweet when it works <laughs> Uh, all right, so opponent is playing a rampy dream trollery uro -y deck. Do we have anything that's actually, like, good against them? I mean, I think our main goal is just to stomp them like we, we did there. Um, maybe we do nothing. Redcap melee doesn't do anything. Lava coil doesn't hit most of their good things. Return to nature can exile uro, but that's it. Lovestruck beast doesn't quite block uro. Brontodon, maybe ceratops? Like, Ceratops, 
Ceratops does Stonewall Dream Trawler. That's probably reason enough to bring it in. Let's go down Iron Craig Feet and one honor of the God Pharaoh for the shifting Ceratopses. That is the upside of Ceratops is we just give it reach and sit back and block Dream Trawler forever. That seems good enough that uh, we want it in our deck. So opponents on the play for game number two. So far, so good, though. Um, hmm. All right. I mean, this is a hand where if we can find a Perforo so we can win really quick, Scryland. Uh, we do not want more Drake, who says. Uh, opponent, tap land to the bottom. Oh, my God, that's Perforos. Okay. Okay, okay. The dream is alive. We'll see what our opponent can do. Untap land, Uro to draw a card. So we can't play Perforos this turn. We got to wait one more turn to the top. Well, Incubation Druid, Rugged Highland, no attack. What do you got, opponent? I mean, we have the combo kill in hand if we can resolve our stuff to Fairy. Bounces Incubation Druid, okay. Well, this is mostly fine. We still get to play, we still get to play Perforos. All right, opponent, this is it. You need an answer. Oh, man, not again. How does this keep happening? Ugh. Well, there goes our Perforos, unfortunately. Well, play a mountain. Adapt. Um, do we even want to kill it? It's going to come back. Let's just play another Incubation Druid. Ugh. Pona has done a good job of having the exact right answer at the exact right time. Pona. Takes up to Fairy. Tapland. Well, we will play... Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Adapt. Play an Ilharg. Opponent has a counter. Yep, all right. We'll play the Mountain past the turn. Yes, Elspeth Conqueror's Death has been ridiculously good for our opponent. Opponent gets back an Uro to draw a card, gain some life. Land into play... Still not especially close to getting back Uro. And we're going to keep casting big things and hoping. Opponent's going to cash into Fairy to bounce Incubation Druid. And I'm guessing that means they just have another Teferi in hand and they're going to set us way back on mana. Oh, the Elspeth Cogger's death has been brutal. Grow Spiral. All right, Opponent's trying to get to trying to get to this Uro by the looks. Yeah, what's next? Grow Spiral. So they can get back Uro. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Sure. Come on, Perforos. Show us a Perforos. Pwn, it puts a landed to play. Ooh, that's Perforos. Oh, play Perforos. Hmm. I think we just put a Terror into play. Hit our opponent for 10. And see if our opponent can again answer Perforos. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> oh. Boy, Elspeth Conqueror's death has been insane. Opponent gets in, gets to draw a card. Oh, that is unfortunate that that keeps happening. Tapland hits us, 15. Opponent ops to the bottom to very Time Raveler. Oh, yeah, this is, this is the worst. Well, Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid, Incubation Druid past the turn but our opponent is just they keep hitting the answers answer to answer to answer cavalier of thorns and i guess they're just playing an infinite number of elspeth conquerors does so it kind of makes sense that they keep hitting them if that is uh if that is what their deck is designed to do it seems like that is just the entire core of their deck yeah i think our opponent probably has this i mean we don't scoop the problem is they get to reanimate to fairy and bounce something else and we're down to nine so we're gonna have to start chump blocking and a quasi duplicate uh all right well opponent has minimal answers to what we're doing but they have done a great job of finding them and yeah i'm trying to think if there's any way we get out of this another quasi duplicate sure mills more quasi duplicates yeah forest isn't gonna do it and we will scoop it up well elspeth conquer's death that is one of the ways to answer a uh, indestructible god and our opponents had it both games so far although we still managed to win one oh uh, 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 uh. hmm so i think after seeing our opponent's deck i don't actually know if we want shifting ceratops but i do think maybe we want return to nature and run it like run it like that 
Return to Nature can get the Elspeth Conqueror's Dev, although in some sense the damage is kind of done because our opponent's already been able to exile our Perforos. All right, we'll keep. Sand's only okay. Land, go. Tap land for our opponent. Well, land and Paradise Druid. Boat it. Untap land. Um, well, play the Temple. Uh, yeah, we'll keep Drake as Seth. Uh, play Incubation Druid. Go attacking. Opponent, gonna go digging. I mean, I think we are basically the aggro here. Opponent down to 16. Shocks themselves to 14. So our Ilharg isn't hasty, but it can come down. Opponent to Fairy. Bounces Paradise Druid. All right. Well, Mountain Ilharg. See if our opponent has more answers. Can't Elspeth Conqueror's Death this turn? They could legend rule their own to fairy. Ticks up. Come on, Ilharg. Hold. Hold. Six, seven. Oh, we're so close to just winning if our opponent doesn't have an answer. Oh, they have another to fairy. All right. So opponents, again, managing to hit all the answers. Discards an Uro. Well, we will Ilharg again. Pass the turn. Do they have answer number three? Takes up to fairy. Uro. Okay. Okay, this is lethal, right? Opponent goes to 20. I think we can 20 him this turn, though. Tap land. I think, we, I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go to com... Uh, do we want to perforos? No. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Terror. Also attacking our opponent. Double it up. That's 22. And that looks like game to me. Oh, yes. Through the disruption. Elhark, Perforos, Terror of Mount Vellis. <laughs> the revenge of the theme deck rares. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, this deck's kind of sweet. That was mostly impressive because our opponent had a lot of disruption and we were still able to execute our plan. Uh, so apparently we're not a deck that just falls apart to an answer or two. Opponent, Teferi, Teferi, Elspeth Conqueror's Death, Elspeth Conqueror's Death, still able to get the win. I mean, I guess that's the upside of having a deck that all we need is one turn. We need one turn to do our thing and we just kill our opponent, even from 20 life. So, all right. Uh, that was sweet. That was super sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some more gruel perforos and yeah all right i mean we got a lot of ramp thrill of possibility can maybe find us something this is a hand where we can potentially just hard cast our big stuff if we draw it seems reasonable it, ooh, mono red all right this is gonna be interesting bono gets that and ends us well land and paradise druid could play incubation druid but we're not blocking this no matter what and there's upside if we draw rhythm of the wild to oh no oh dear all right, <laughs> the old double fervent champion draw is bad, bad news. Oh, we we're dying very quickly. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so let's find, hmm, play Paradise Druid, play a land, Incubation Druid. So this does give us a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of hope. Our tiny bit of hope is, all right, there goes Incubation Druid. Our tiny bit of hope is we can play this Ilharg. And then if we can thrill of possibility into, eh, well, we might just die. Well, we'll see. We'll see. If we can thrill of possibility into our double strikey dragon friend, we could win. The bad news is we could just die to Ember Cleave here. Castle on Breath. Do you got a cleave? Do you got a cleave? Opponent attacks. Triggers, triggers. Hmm. So if opponent has Ember Cleave, this is infinite. Uh, so if we block here, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. We'll take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So I think we just block Fervent Champion. We can't beat an Ember Cleave no matter what. So, all right, there's Ember Cleave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just not a card that we have the ability to beat in this situation. Even if we block Annex, we still don't beat it so bring in two red cap melees bring in two lava coils bring in two love struck beasts and probably the brontodons go down this is where it's gonna get sketchy shared summons uh what else can we trim is the question maybe like a rhythm of the wild a couple honor of the god pharaoh one ilharg one terror one dracusef uh, or maybe our best way is just to Let's go down to Incubation Druid. Maybe, all right, let's go down the Honor of the God Pharaoh too and keep the Incubation Druid. I think our best way of winning this game 
Eh, all right. Three Lava Coils. I think our best way of winning this game is still the combo. Dracoseth Perforos, Dracoseth Ilharg, Double Strike Thing Ilharg. Like, one of those combinations that just win us the game before our opponent can kill us. So I don't think we want to do too much that weakens our combo, because I still think that is our best possible way of winning the game. Well, we'll try this. We have the Ilhargs, we have the Perforoses. Incubation Druid is the worst of our mana dorks, since it dies to shock. We'll keep the Mountain. Uh, opponent. Mountain and Fervent Champion. This looks familiar. Well, um... Yeah, play Incubation Druid. Opponent. Castle Umbreath. Looks like they have the shock. All right, Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, gets in, hits us. Down 18. Well, land in Rhythm of the Wild. Pass the turn. Ooh, we're going to need lands and a finisher. There's Bone Crusher. Opponent gets in, hits us. That is a land, so play the land. Thrill of possibility. Discard an Ilharg. Hmm, okay. Redcap Melee is interesting. We still don't have a finisher to go with Ilharg, though. But Redcap Melee does fizzle. All right. It kills Torbran. Well, we'll see. Opponent hits us. Draw. Come on. Finisher, finisher, finisher. Love struck beast. Play the land. So we can hit our opponent for 11, but not win? Hmm. Let's make a 1-1. One, one. Love struck beast. With a plus one, plus one counter. We really just need to draw a dragon. And then we can Ilharg with haste and win. Opponent. Hits Love Struck Beast. All right, a handful of lava coils. When it gets in, we will chump a Bone Crusher. Go to 11. Come on, finisher. Light up the stage. Two lands. Well, play Ilharg. Counter. Um, not gonna play the land past the turn. Opponent, what do they find? Plays a land. One card in hand. Not gonna play the land so we can loot it away. Scorch Spitter. All right, that doesn't kill us yet. Opponent passes. We'll play Perforos. Not a creature, though. Rugged Highland. Oh! Come on, Dragon! Dragon for the win, opponent. What do they find? Land. Passes. Hmm. Well, Paradise Druid. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. I think we gotta stay on defense. Pass the turd. Dragon. Dragon. Opponent. Annex. Okay. That's decent. Dragon still should be good. Oh, that's our worst draw. Another Perforos. All right, all right. This is getting worse by the moment. Pass the turn. Ah, wrong, wrong big red card. Vote it. If they go Annex into Embercleave, then we just, we lose, unfortunately. Land, okay, opponent. Combat, attacks with everything, pings us. So I think we block Annex block bone crusher well we get one draw we need to draw something that wins us the game this turn because our opponent's gonna have a lethal board of dorks so this is our turn this is our chance yeah opponent double pumps stuff dies dragon we need a winning dragon opponent gets a bunch of can't block tokens that kill us next turn this is the draw this is the draw come on deck lava coil that doesn't do it oh Oh, the fizzle! <laughs> well, we had a lot of draws to win that game. A lot. We just could not find something big. Ooh. All right. Wow, we did everything minus get that one last piece of the puzzle. Yikes. Yeah, okay. Can't win them all. All right. Budget magic time. We are trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Stomp some fools with Perforos. We're playing a Gruel Perforos. Basically, I don't even know. Gruel, haste in big creatures. Hopefully win sometimes. <laughs> when we win, it's going to be sweet. The question is, how often do we do it? Uh, well, all right, we'll keep this. We'll keep this mostly because we got a million, a million uh, ways to loot through our deck. Well, there's Perforos. We'll keep Perforos. Four is for our opponent. Well, play the land past the turn. So we can thrill of possibility to discard a... Oh, it's flash? Ew. All right. This is going to be interesting. Pass the turn. Uh, this might not be a great matchup. This matchup probably... Probably means that just all of our stuff gets countered, which is annoying. Opponent. Hits in. Hits us. I wonder if we'll see a increase in Simic Flash thanks to the Challenger deck. 
Now play the land. I mean, technically, ugh. Well, we'll see. We'll see what our opponent does. Gets it, hits us, no blocks. Now well, let's honor the god pharaoh. Discard Dracoseth. I assume this is where things... St oh, no counter. All right. I mean, if our opponent just does not have counters, we're we're fine. There's a night pack ambusher. Yeah. We'll keep the mountain. Well, okay. I mean, I guess next turn we just slam a perforos and, and hope. Opponent plays a land. Attacks. We will block. Drop to 15. Uh-huh. Come on. Pay all that mana. Pay all that mana. Grow that wildborn preserver. Oh, no paying. Okay. Brazen borrower. All right. That's not great for us. Yep. Reese Elves. Well, play a mountain. I think we got to go for it. Perforos. All right, Resolves. There's the Borrower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, opponent plays the land. Attacks. Are we dead? We drop to three. Opponent makes a dork. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. This is our chance. We drop. Okay, that's a land. Play the land. Ugh. Do we Iron Craig feet? If our opponent had a bounce spell, they would have bounced. I think we, we just gotta go for it. No Iron Craig feet. One, two, three. Iron Craig feet turns on counters. So Perforos, Dracuseth, Perforos, Terror, go to combat, attack, uh, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you. Actually, we go phase. It doesn't matter. If they got an answer, they got an answer and we die. Frilled Mystic. That doesn't change anything. I think this is game. This is game. We got the combo kill. Oh my goodness. It worked. Our opponent didn't have the counter. Opponent blocks. That's fine. They are taking infinite in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Well, 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 well. Opponent tries to counter us, but... We just managed to... They didn't have the counter. And Perforos wins the game. That went surprisingly well. Probably got a little lucky our opponent didn't have a counter there, but... I mean, that's the power of the deck. We were far behind on board, but that's what we expect. And then we just one-shot our opponent is the plan. All right, so opponent's playing Simic Flash. That means shifting Ceratops in. Um, hmm. Shifting Ceratops in. We'll go down Iron Craig Feet. We'll go down and honor the God Pharaoh. Um, do we want to try to bring in removal? The problem with our removal is it's mostly sorcery speed. Maybe we just bring in, like, Lovestruck Beast? And go down Shared Summons, and... I mean, what we really want is just Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild is our best card. Yeah, let's go down one more Honor of the God Pharaoh, run it like that. So basically, we would love to just stick a Rhythm of the Wild, make all of our stuff uncounterable, and then winning should be pretty easy. Well, that was impressive. <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep. We got some ramp. We got a rhythm. Bone it to the top. Well, tap land. Go. Uh, opponent. We would like to keep hitting lands. Untap land. Well, play the land. Play Paradise Druid. All right. Counter number one. Quench. Uh, opponent. Untap land. Well, play the land. Play Rhythm of the Wild. Do you have another counter? Opponent does. Well, yeah. This is kind of what we expected against our opponent's deck. Just counterspell tribal. Hmm. Let's thrill of possibility discard an Ilharg. Oh, but we did not hit a land. Oh, that's that's not good. The whole reason to do that was to hit a land. Oh, now we're in pretty rough shape. Opponent, untap land. Hits us. I'm gonna start making wolves. And yeah, we're in dire... St oh, also not a land? Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is a little unfortunate. Thrill of possibility... <laughs> temple. Yeah, this is just going to be too slow. Too hard of a time finding our land. Oh, well, there's a land. Well, pass the turn. I think it's uh, too little too late, though. Brazen Borrower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opponent hits us. Down to seven. Makes a wolf. Yeah, so we're just, we're dead on board. All right. Well, that was a little awkward. Opponent did what we kind of expected, which was have infinite counters. And then we backed it up by missing our land drops, which definitely made things worse by far. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, we get to be on the play for game three, which is nice. Unfortunately, because of how our deck is built, 
we don't really have a way to get down a rhythm of the wild before our opponent can leave up counters. They just have infinite two mana counters, so that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue. Can we actually resolve any of our good cards against this deck? Well, we will keep. One thing we like is shifting ceratops. Shifting ceratops can potentially just jank our opponent out. We can turn turn two paradise druid, turn three shifting ceratops, and just hope that that goes all the way. Uh, thrill possibility to the bottom, I think. Opponent untaps. Tap land. Well, land and Paradise Druid. Shifting Ceratops is one of the best cards against our opponent's archetype. They can block it with some of their stuff, but it's still very good. Opponent passes. We'll play the land. Shifting Ceratops. Can't counter that one, opponent. Runs out a Wildborn Preserver. Sure. Land for our opponent. Passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Paradise Druid. Okay, another Preserver. Yep. And a Paradise Druid. All right, opponent. Land. Passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Opponent's going to run out Brazen Borrower. And then grow the Preserver to block? All right. The good news is, this means we get to resolve a Ilharg. All right, so we trade off here. But this means we get to pay Ilharg. And Ilharg can be pretty good. Opponent, land. Opponent's going to need a way to bounce Ilharg, most likely. Gets in, sure. Hits us. I'll go to combat. Attack. Dracuseth. Pulse scoops it up. Whoo! All right. All right, all right. Fighting through the counters. Stop it over through the disruption. And... That was pretty good. That was a pretty impressive performance for our deck, I have to say. The counter spell matchups, definitely pretty frightening for our deck, but we got there, showing off the power of Perforos and Friends. All right, all right, all right, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Gruel Perforos. Ooh, yeah, we got a mulligan that. We can't actually cast anything. Eh, okay. I guess this is fine-ish. Ramp, honor the god pharaohs to find something that actually does something. Yeah, yeah, good enough. We'll keep. Rugged Island to the bottom. Rugged Island, go. See what our opponent is up to. Swamp. And Hateful Eidolon. Interesting. Well, Mountain Paradise Druid. Opponent getting in. No blocks. Um, hmm. Play the mountain. Let's honor the god pharaoh. Discard rugged highland. No attacks. So, well, we got Drake who says for days. Boy, a Purphros would be sweet. Opponent, Knight of the Even Legion. I'll play a land. Uh, let's thrill of possibility. Discard a Drake Seth. Ooh, all right. Uh, no attacks. All right. Well, opponent plays a land. Ugh, agonizing remorse. Okay, that's unfortunate. Ugh, ugh. Takes Ilharg. One, two, three. Well, I mean, Iron Greg feed Dracuseth. If our opponent draws another land and can kill Dracuseth, that's going to make us very sad. No attacks. Wow. Ho, ho, wow. Those are some miraculously good draws for our opponent. Well, Temple. Paradise Druid to the bottom. Wow, that is... That is a little unfortunate that our opponent hit two lands three... Four! Ah! Oh my goodness! Our opponent deserves to lose this game, but they are going to win this game. Uh, opponent got a one-lander, and the Magic Gods greatly rewarded them for keeping a very unkeepable hand. Um, but sure, I mean, that's magic. That's magic. Oh, I, that is that is a little frustrating though that our opponent that our opponent was able to uh, top deck lands like that. Well, Dracuseth, did the top decking lands save you again, opponent? Let's see. You got another murderous rider or some other removal spell. Deadweight, okay. Attacks, attacks, sure. Down to sixteen. Spawn of mayhem. Well, I think we still got a chance. Go to combat. Attack. We will hit you, you, and you, and you, and we'll play Ilarg. Oh, okay. Dracuseth number two might be enough. Phone it. Rankle, Master of Prankles. Gets in. Hits us. 13. Sure. We'll sack Ilarg. Um, 
let's just decline. Oh, all right, boom. Go to combat, attack. Hit you, hit you. And a post scoops it up! Stop it through, stop it through! I thought our opponent was gonna get out of it by drawing those lads, but apparently just huge stompy things. <laughs> good enough, good enough, just keep stopping. Just keep stopping. All right, my opponent's on mono black aggro. Uh, do we wanna change much of anything? Not a whole lot. I think we'll bring in a couple lava coils. When you go down like an incubation druid or two, cause they tend to die. Uh, go up a lava coil. Yeah, and run it like that. I mean, try to do the same thing. Basically the same game plan. Play big things, attack with big things. One of the nice things is our deck is kind of resilient to our opponent's hate Flytalon plan. Our creatures are, for the most part, big enough that they're not going to die to Myers Grasps and so forth. Hmm? Yeah, all right. I mean, going to need some mana, but Rhythm of the Wild, two dragons, a removal spell. That seems fine. Uh, opponent. Swamp. I don't scry land. Hmm. Let's keep, let's keep Ilharg. It's greedy, because we're missing land drops, but it's so good with Rhythm of the Wild. Agonizing remorse. Huh, it takes thrill of possibility. Interesting. Well, that does increase our chances of being mana screwed. Knight of the Human Legion. Well, Rhythm of the Wild. All right, two lands. We need two lands. If we can draw two lands... Things go very well. Opponent, combat, gets in. Show us lands. Hits us. Well, Paradise Druid. Plus one, plus one counter. That technically counts as a land. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. Untap, please. Not one of those gain lands. None of the Eben Legion. Yeah. Oh, that's land. Oh, boy. Land. Ilharg. Haste. Attack. Terror. Plus one, plus one counter. And that's game? That's what the deck can do. Opponent takes a million, and that is the plan, and that is Dracuseth, and Ilharg, and Perfros stopping people in standard. Whoo! All right, sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. So what did we learn this week about Gruel Perforos in Standard? And overall, we went 4-1 and one in our video matches with a slight asterisk. So I try to get as many different matchups as possible in these videos. So we played against Bant Ramp a second time. I scooped it in match one. Played against Just Guy Fires a second time. Scooped it in match one. So who knows what would have happened if the matches played out. But I wanted to mention it for the sake of like full disclosure. But really, the deck was surprisingly powerful. We played a lot of pretty legit decks. The Ramp deck, Jeskai Fires, Mono Black, Civic Flash. The only one we lost to was Mono Red, which, Mono Red, it's a weird matchup. We don't have many ways to interact with them, but they also don't have many ways to interact with us, so it's kind of this weird... I don't even want to say combo race, but it kind of is. Like, our opponent's just trying to goldfish into the Ember Cleave kill. We're just trying to goldfish into our Ilharg or Perfros with Terror or Dracuseth kill. So it's kind of this weird, non-interactive race for the most part. It didn't work out. I do think there's a chance that we are able to keep up with uh, that deck, but eh, I don't know if we could actually beat it consistently. The one drops are really tough. Our deck is a little bit slow. Our nut draw can get them on turn four, but probably not our best matchup. But overall, I was surprised at how consistent and how resilient the deck actually was we were able to set up our combo stuff really consistently we played against like the band ramp deck they had a million to fairies and elspeth conquers that they kept getting rid of our uh perforoses getting rid of our rhythm of the wilds our ill hargs and we were still able to pull off the win and one of the funny things about this deck and one of the things i love about the gruel version thanks to our mana dorks eventually we just get to the spot where we're able to just hard cast our stuff we saw that in our last game against mono black aura where our opponent was able to kill our early stuff and put some pressure on the battlefield. Uh, that was very disruptive, and it really slowed us down, but eventually we had a couple of Paradise Druids and Incubation Druids, and we just able to, like, cast Perforos, cast a Terror, and even at full price, those are some pretty powerful creatures. So, all around, I feel like this is a at least a semi-competitive deck. Our fast kills are really fast. You saw that against Jeskai Fires, where opponents fires and playing their stuff, and we're like, oh, nice fires, we're going to 
Hasten to Ilharg and just like kill you on the spot. So our speed level is very high. All of the rummaging effects add a lot of consistency, which is nice. And we can just win fairly by hard casting our stuff. So all around, I think this deck was pretty sweet and I really enjoyed flying it. So if you're looking for something different and pretty fast and devastating to do it standard, I think it's worth giving a shot at least. So anyway, that has been Gruel Perforos. That's been our bunch of magic for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.